Hello everyone, welcome to Careers in Cloud, our video series uh, where we introduce you to the job opportunities here at Amazon Internet Services Private Limited. I'm Namrita, I'm a part of the talent acquisition team for AWS in India, and I'm excited to be here today since we'll be speaking to our builders from uh, infrastructure operations and data center team. Let's start with a quick round of introductions. Um, over to you, Rishita. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Rishita, the logistics manager for Bomb Cluster. I have a wonderful team of six true Amazonians, and together we manage complete life cycle of inventory in our data centers. We ensure that our internal customers get right server and network spare part in right quantity and at right place, which in turn keeps our data centers up and running 24-7. I'm in AWS for almost two years now, and previously I carry around 15 years of experience in man and material management. Thank you. Wonderful, Rishita. Over to you, Shama. Would you like to give a brief introduction about yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm, in, I'm Shama, and I'm infrastructure delivery manager at AWS Hyderabad region. My role is to lead infra uh, network scaling projects in infrastructure projects and currently along with my builders we are building a new region i've been part of it infra services for over 13 years and uh, after handling diverse roles through my career i have joined aws in 2020. last but not the least aditya would you like to give introduce yourself i'm aditya and i leave the data center operations and i'm based in hyderabad this team comprises of all functions, which ensure that we operate and maintain the AWS data centers in Hyderabad to exceed our customers' expectations. Uh, the team comes from diverse academic backgrounds, and we ensure that we exceed and provide the services that our customers expect. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I've run mission critical facilities. Uh, I've, uh, I'm a metro veteran as well. I've been with the Navy for 23 years before I joined AWS. Thank you. So my question is to you, Aditya, you've been with us for some time and you are well versed in all the roles in our infrastructure operations team. What are some of the interesting roles that you can share with us and especially the roles that we are constantly hiring for? Right. So Namrata, actually our teams uh, comprise of different functions and uh, we, this, these functions range from data center engineering operations which we refer to as DCEO. This team is responsible for everything related to facilities, uh, power, cooling, infrastructure that is required to be up and running to support our servers. The next team is data center operations or DCO. This team is responsible for ensuring that our IT infrastructure is always up and it operates to the optimum efficiency for our customers. The infrastructure delivery team is the team which is responsible for ensuring that our network operates well, as well as we scale to our customers' requirements as we grow at a fast clip. The logistics team is the next team which ensures that all our spare parts are available for our builders to uh, ensure that all our equipment and services are up and running. The security and safety teams are two other teams of, which are very important and safety is our first priority as well, followed by security. Back to you, Namrata. Um, over to you, uh, Shama. You are an infrastructure delivery manager and I'm sure the audience will like to know better what is it like working in your role? What are your roles and responsibilities? So as infrastructure delivery manager, I lead a team responsible for network scaling projects and meeting capacity demands. My primary responsibility is to help the builders on my team execute the projects and remove the blockers as we found our way. Together as a team, we ultimately help AWS customers to meet their business needs. I joined the team at a time where we are building a new region and which in itself is an opportunity to learn and uh, uh, learned and know about AWS data center from the very start. I'm at the same time responsible for it to ensure that once we start delivering new projects, my team is all geared up and ready for the new exciting journey. 
How about you, Rishita? As a logistics manager, how does your day look like? What's so interesting about your job and uh, working in a data center environment? Sure. So as a logistics business leader, my primary responsibility is to ensure that our services meet the expectation and needs of our internal customers and business on a daily, monthly and yearly basis. Some of these operational tasks may include investigating metrics and reviewing backlog, developing team strategies, visions and goal and delegating tasks, determining timelines and ensuring that they are met. I am the senior point of contact. Uh, to, for communication and escalation for site logistics to internal as well as external teams. As a logistics people leader, I need to have a strong focus on team growth and development, make way and support projects outside day to day operations and ensure that everyone is included and participates in site coverage. Apart from the functional responsibility, I'm also a bar raiser where my role is to get involved in interview loops, partner with hiring managers, recruiters and interview teams to ensure that the best and long term hires are made for the company. What is most interesting in all of this is, is the peculiar ways we do all of it. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, to you, Kshama, um, are there any roles in the DC you think are really interesting and oftentimes misunderstood by candidates or even by your friends and family? Uh, well, uh, in my opinion, all roles in data center operations are very exciting and very often people do not realize the learnings and growth opportunities these bring along with them. Apart from infrastructure delivery, there are various other uh, teams like, uh, as I mentioned, DCO, DCEO, logistics, safety, security, and so on. All working together uh, in close coordination and we ensure smooth operations of our data centers. Right. So to you, Rishita, uh, you are definitely one of our diversity champs here at Amazon, and you work with a large group of data center colleagues coming from all backgrounds. What surprised you the most when you first joined the team, and how would you describe your collaboration with everyone? So diversity to me is the combination of unique skills, experiences, perspectives, and cultural backgrounds that make us who we are. Our collective diversity surely benefits our global customers. What surprised me the most when I first joined the team was to see how we get strength out of our diversity and how we remain bonded as one unit with all these amazing 16 leadership principles in our DNA. It is not in books, but you can easily see everyone around you demonstrating those in and out. On collaboration with everyone, I must say we truly demonstrate inclusive culture where all are being valued, trusted, connected and informed so that we can deliver the best results for our customers. You have the freedom to express yourself, get to experiment in your roles and seek support from anyone and everyone as long as you're customer focused. Well said, Rishita. Um, Aditya, as a manager here taking care of the data center family of employees, how do you personally ensure the team is building an inclusive environment that embraces everyone's superpowers? What are the leadership principles that you value in your team members? Right. Um, so as uh, Rishita brought out, um, you know, we, we lay a lot of emphasis on building a highly inclusive environment. And that is because we run we run mission critical facilities, which uh, encompasses, you know, preventing emergencies or managing them. And we want all our builders to be connected to bring their whole self uh, when they come to work. It's about recognizing and valuing the different experiences of our teams and also creating that psychological safety and taking a lot of feedback where builders can express new ideas or whatever they feel about their work environment. And we take specific steps to address that. Um, Rishita and Shama here both have been you know, part of ICAP. This is an initiative that we run. And this is specifically to address uh, and build inclusivity and you know, take in feedback from our builders and ensure that uh, we address and make things better. Also, during these unusual and you know, unprecedented times, we, we run specific and different programs to enable that, enable different builders come together and they can voice their opinions and feel connected. As far as leadership principles go, 
for me, ownership and earned trust really stands out. And um, I try and inculcate them in my team as, as much as possible through culture building sessions and fireside chats. Thank you. All right. Um, so uh, this question is for both you, um, Rishita and Shama. I know everyone is customer obsessed and working really hard to support our customers behind the scenes. But when the team gets together outside of work, um, are there any fun things you do together virtually or in terms of outings uh, before uh, the pandemic? Yeah, so in the pre pandemic era, if I can say, we have planned off sites to lovely hills of Lonavala. That's a place near Bombay where we are. And during the pandemic, right from getting dressed to color themes, having Bollywood quills, playing online houses together, and showcasing our hidden talents virtually, we have done it all. Trust me, this is the best place to build and grow, as said by Andy Jesse, CEO of Amazon, and which I truly believe in. What about you, Shama? Uh, I joined the team during the pandemic, and like many others, it takes efforts to know teams through virtual methods. However, Amazon way of working, uh, working makes it uh, really easy to work hard and uh, have lots of fun together. We do a lot of things virtually, like quizzes, fun chats, workshops, or a free flowing conversation. And ultimately, we get to know each other better. We also started creative ways of maintaining social distancing and yet come together for some activities like hiking trails, fun activities, and games while we are on site. That's wonderful to know. Well, I have certainly been seeing this quantum expanding in leaps and bounds, and yet they are always humble, always talking about day one culture here at Amazon. In one short word, Aditya, how would you describe our data center team? One word is too less. Um, uh, if I have to think about something, uh, it's exceptional and fabulous. So two words from me. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Rishita? Well, I'll say peculiar. We need to see our mascot, Pecky. Absolutely. Uh, what about you, Shama? I'll say amazing. That's every day is amazing here. Right. And I'll round this up by saying how I love that it that everyone in the team is so awesome. That's the end of this episode of Careers in the Cloud. Look out for job opportunities on our Amazon.jobs portal. And we look forward to hear from you soon. Till then, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.